Today we're thinking about not just hope for ourselves, not just hope for those we love, but hope for our community and all the different communities we are part of. Um, a couple of years ago I was leading a conference, a, well like a retreat for some clergy in Canada, and I encouraged all the clergy to write a poem to express some of their feelings about God and their own life of faith. And one of the archdeacons, Max Wooliver, wrote this fantastic little poem. Um, I'd been saying to him, wouldn't it be good if in our communities, the community of the church I was thinking about, wouldn't it be good if we were uh, more like a flock of starlings or a shoal of fish than we are at the moment? What I meant by that is, if, if you've ever seen a flock of starlings in the sky, it's called a murmuration, that's the name of the poem, um, there's not any starling in charge. There's not like a CEO starling who's leading them all. They, they all move together, they all lead together, they all follow together. There's a wonderful, beautiful unity about them, which is, I suppose, what I long for. I hope that we can become uh, a community of communities that move together, that live together, that hope together, that stay together, that work together, that pray together, um, uh, that we could be uh, like a flock of starlings. So this is Max's wonderful, scribbled on the back of an envelope poem, Murmuration. There is a shared wind of wingbeat urging me to you now. I find you turning as like to your own wingmate who is like turning to her own. We shake the air together, falling as the breeze sweeps our common wing, rising as the heat, breast of the earth, lifts us to the sky. Uh, my hope uh, for our communities and our world, well, my hope is that we could be like flocks of starlings, like shoals of fish, working and living in harmony together, leading together and following together. So if you want to write to me with your hope and your prayer, uh, for your community, um, for the communities that you're part of, do please write in so we can pray together for a better world in this new year.